And it's fixed! Hopefully. Because now I'm not getting anything problems and everything seems to be fine. So... I have no idea how to check this. There is no one in chat to tell me if everything is fine. But... This should be it. I'm getting greens. So, uh, yeah. New character. Ugh. Too many, too many. Well, uh, any percent fun gets to be deleted. Yes. Yes. Okay, I didn't fuck up. Live frame, night. No, 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 no. There we go. There's where our preferences are. There we go. Well, not preferences, but saved, <laughs> saved characters. Oh, uh, name. Um, I don't know how to spell Pontiff <laughs> Curved Sword, I'll just call it Curved Sword Curved Sword it, It's not misspelled, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not good if you misspell everything It's not good, it doesn't say anything good about you Uh, Life Ring, yep, yep That's, uh, that's it Stop game Okay, let me check how it looks. Okay, let me check how it looks. And yeah, it looks perfect. So basically what happened, I have uh, I have custom OBS out, uh, output set. And apparently either it's because of me or I don't know why. But OBS set it to 3500 kilobytes, and that I don't have that big of an upload speed. And that's why it was constantly, you know, reconnecting itself because it didn't. There was no. Uh... Wait. What's the audio on this one? It's four and everything, okay. There we go, might be better, but doesn't matter, what matters is it's fixed. Also, glad to finally be back to streaming. The past two weeks, full of college, and I'm glad to be fucking back. Glad I'm back to Dark Souls. <laughs> now, I'm back to Dark Souls because I've spent the past couple of... Uh, Past couple of weeks just playing Darkest Dungeon offline. Uh, Saint 432, thank you so much for the raid and for the host. Hey, H Knock, welcome. One second, Streamlabs is not doing the notifications. One second. Oh, I don't know why. OBS seems to be now fucking with me. Properties. Yeah. Let me let me just test it because I haven't been streaming for two weeks, and now that I'm back, this is kind of like. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws. Whoa! All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Was that was that too quick for the text? I don't know. Uh, trying to raid more people in the community. Yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. I don't know if that the text was too quick. Also, is the game uh, loud? And by loud, I mean too loud. Because uh, if I have, if it is, I can lower it. No. Whoa! I'm stuck. 
Lock Cogger out. Is this a blind pl No, 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 H knock. Uh, you can do exclamation mark challenges to see all the challenges that I've done in this game. This is not a blind play food by no means. Um, I hope this is better because I don't know. OBS, OBS got a huge update apparently because it changed the whole uh, UI and everything. And now I'm just confused as to why. Why the changes? There really was no need for the changes. Whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, I get it, HNOC. I play this game a lot. I have in total around 1000 hours. Now, of course, Steam doesn't count hours when you play offline, and I usually play offline because I, uh, I do challenges. I don't do, I don't do PvP, so there is no need for me to get invaded or anything like that. And if you didn't know, if you play offline on Steam and offline in game, you will not get invaded by NPCs, which is weird. I guess you can say it's kind of like a pirate measure, you know, anti-piracy, because you cannot play online when you pirate. Yeah, you can't because it's not a legal game. Little, little copy, so it then just basically doesn't give you the whole game. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm a little bit worried. There we go. That was kind of like a, la a late parry. Not good. Haven't played this game in a little bit, so yeah, that might also be a problem. There we go. Let's uh, let's rest because I want to kill the dent the swordmaster, and for that I do kind of want maximum HP. Only kinda, you know. It's it's not like it's that important if you die or not with seven thousand souls. If you're, in it works. The time. Okay, last night. When I got home, I was setting up uh, my bot to have timers, and I was so worried because when I tested it, it didn't fucking work. I was worried if it, if it would work or not, and the answer is yeah. Okay, there's the first no, first timer. It works. Good. Let's see how much how many work. Hopefully, all of them. Okay, I'm not paying attention to the fight, I'm paying attention to OBS right now. Sorry, Swordmaster, I know you want a fair fight and a concentrated fight, but I... OBS is uh, more important. More important. Foolishly seeking and fortune and glory in this domain, in this domain of the damned. The damned. H knock, thank you so much for the follow. And why does it repeat? I said it on not repeating the volume. I thought I fixed that up. Well, anyways, H knock, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Come on, Swordmaster. There we go. 
We don't need the sword. I don't know. I don't know. Is the music in the game too loud, loud or is it perfect? I just, at this point, I have no fucking idea. The new UI for the uh, desktop audio and mic uh, microphone slash aux port is just confusing to me. But can you hear it? At least for a little bit. The music is quiet. Yeah, that that was kind of intentional. Oh. Now is uh is this better? Now it's a good balance. Okay. Time to do a little jump. I'm uh, I did uh, this jump basically when I was doing any percent speed runs my I found out about this jump here and then there was talk that it was patched but apparently it's not patched and I found out when I was watching someone playing the game and doing the skip actually and the only problem is that the skip is actually quite complicated to do but it's possible I'm just not oh come on oh for console is patched I thought it was for everyone oh come on Okay, my uh, my left trigger, my left uh, analog stick doesn't want to jump. There we go. Still, <laughs> still, I don't have it. You know, I can't do it first try, but I can do it, and that's important. Wait, didn't I rest at the bomb? I did not rest at the. Bonfire. Oh well. Oh well. I can live with that. Good. We're not we're not above twenty five percent. That means we get the fast roll. Let's go enforce increase Arrestus. Well, hello there, Nightbot. I see you're also <laughs> also active. I thought I disabled you. Okay, well, let it be a mix, I guess, of the two. Well, let me just quickly check out and see why it plays double hopefully that fixes it if it doesn't well it's always gonna be double at least the good thing is it actually sounds cool even if it is doubled it sounds cool and I can respect that
This is not the greatest cup of coffee I ever drank, but... Fucking I thought. Ah. Uh. Why is... Why is the night bot... Why is he live? I, I disabled... Or I put him out of the, the chat. I didn't even put him in the chat. So... How the fuck is he... Okay, first and foremost, I am using... Bad equipment when it comes to fucking earphones. Or anything like that. Headphones, actually. Because there is no volume modifiers and it just increases the volume. And that might create an illusion that this game is actually louder than it is. Yeah, okay. So, Nightbot, since you are seemingly want to work and uh, Nightbot isn't, I'm just gonna quickly disable the timers the link doesn't work because why is the link wait hold up you don't stream for two weeks and everything is going down the shit <laughs> Damn it! Well, I'm gonna fix that. Some technical issues, not anything major, luckily. But. There we go. And my phone! I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry for the pauses and for the long pause. I'm really sorry. What did I say? I said I was gonna... I was gonna... Disable Nightbot. Wait, how do you even disable my bot? <laughs> uh, hold up. In the control panel or in chat, type nightbot remove. Got it. Got it. Nightbot is removed. Okay. Now that's all been uh, done. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to getting the longbow and then basically killing Wart. Or Wart, if I haven't said it strongly. I really need to get myself some kind of headphones because right now my earphones do make the game sound louder than it is. I have to say. But unfortunately, you know, it is how it is. Okay. That is weird. Sometimes you take no damage and other times you do take damage from the fall. Kind of seems like it's inconsistent. And by seems like it is inconsistent. Or at least I don't know how to make it consistent. Way faster way of doing this part of the game, but also very dangerous. Because if you fail it once, uh, that's it. You failed. You need to go the other way. And that's the irritating part. Luckily, the coffee is still relatively hot, but it's bad coffee. Basically, um, the cup is uh, 0 0.3 and the pot can only take around 0 0.5 liters. So basically, I, you know, I had to boil the water because my gran grandma also wanted coffee and I was making for both of us. And since there was not enough, you know, there was a fear of the coffee s spilling out, I had to deduct the water first and then make the coffee and then put the coffee in the cup. Basically making it watered down. Not good. Welcome back, H Knock. Welcome back. And also a little bit of a refreshing uh, on the refreshing side. We need Grey Rat. We're gonna free Grey Rat in a very long time. Usually you don't need Grey Rat at all. He he is I'm not gonna say a luxury because it does take you know, a certain not difficulty but 
annoyance to get him because you know the dog and dogs in his game are a nuisance but it's worth it and he does sell the sword after he he goes to to Lothric Castle and back and if you're wondering well you know technically this is not all bosses with the sword it will not be all bosses with the sword because I will be going immediately into New Game Plus once I finish the new game and I'm gonna kill all the bosses that I have killed um, without the sword. Basically. Dude, 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 dude. Thank you. That's how it's going to be. Gonna do New Game Plus and kill. Let's see, not Abyss Watchers, but we have to kill, actually I don't know about Abyss Watchers. Rulex Gundir definitely, Wart definitely, Curse Roy Greatwood, yes, actually, yeah. I'm gonna get the bone, you know, you need to get Loretta's bone for him to move. So, I'm gonna get the bone. Do I need to... I guess I can just save and quit. And he will, you know, ask for... For permission, even though... Dude, don't worry about it, just... Go do what you have to do. <laughs> don't worry about me, you know. And I was gonna ask for permission to leave, we're gonna say okay, he's gonna go, we're gonna get ourselves the cur the Pontiff Curved Sword, and everything's gonna be dandy, until it isn't. But then we're probably in in, uh, in the second DLC fighting Demon Prince. <laughs> then that's gonna be a roadblock. 100% There we go It's gonna be interesting to see what they do I talked about what I think about the, the Dark Souls Remastered But I'm still, you know In in two months. Oh, wait, now it's February. Three months. In three months, the game is coming out. How long were they doing the remaster of Dark Souls One, and w how big are the changes? There is no information, although they will give us more information in the upcoming months. So I'm gonna expect to hear, or well, at least what I, what I what I would like to hear is they changed the animation, added a couple of bosses. Although if they don't spoil that, I'm gonna be perfectly fine with that. Also, they added new weapons, and they changed the accessibility of the DLC. Because let's all be honest, no matter how cool it is to do the whole quest line and everything, because basically it is like a quest line. To get to get to the part to the DLC and Dark Souls One, let it be more accessible. Honestly, let it just be more accessible, like it is in Dark Souls Two. Now, mind you, the Dark Souls Two DLC is by, sorry, DLCs are by no means accessible. You do need to find them all, but they are way easier to access than in Dark Souls One. And, you know, Dark Souls 3, you basically kill bosses. <laughs> Until you get to the DLC. You just, just kill bosses. Don't, don't worry about anything else. Just keep killing bosses. The DLC comes later. <laughs> okay, that... Okay. That might not be true for the first DLC, but for the second, it kind of is. You basically kill the whole game and then you get the final boss, kill the final boss, then you exit up. Dude. Bug. Bug. 
then you exit out and out of the arena and you basically get the bonfire it allows you to access the the second DLC uh, okay well first of all minor inconvenience I forgot to go I forgot to free gray rat <laughs> that's a, just a, a simple minor inconvenience we're gonna go and save him don't worry about it it's just that I forgot about him I always forget about him when I need to get him. I always get to to ward and I'm like, oh shit. What about Grey Rat? Who? <laughs> Who's Grey Rat? Never heard of him. Can't you see I'm busy killing a wild dog? Not an insult. The hype the maiden in the chapel calls him also. So, you know, calls him a dog. It's not an insult. If the game if the game calls it also like that. Really? You actually the smoothest of fights but you know what I expected uh, a rough fight it's in effect that again I haven't been playing this game for a lot in a long while still didn't die that's all that matters I didn't die <laughs> the moment I die I'm gonna blame it on my uh, slowage of playing the game or slowly stopping because honestly I mean I'm doing this because I did promise myself that I was gonna do it and also I need to do the new game uh, the twin princess greatsword and after that I don't know I I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be done with Dark Souls There really is nothing else to do in this game. So yeah. Quite possible that I'll be done with Dark Souls. Until of course the remaster comes. And then Code Vein and... Well, I, I keep saying that I'm gonna play them. But the problem is, can I even run them? Dark Souls 1 remaster, I'm gonna kinda expect that I can. At least if it's all on low and it's on 720p, I'll accept that. But Code Vein and uh, Shadows Die Twice, or whatever it's called, the new game that FromSoft is making, I don't know. About that one, I'm not really sure if I'm, I'm going to be able to play or not. That's why I'm worried. Oh well. <laughs> if I'm not able, there is, you know, there's Dark Souls 1 Remastered. And we can, you know, throw 3000 hours or 1000 hours into it. Who cares? I purposely waited to not do the rolling attack and it still did the rolling attack. <laughs> oh well. Hey Grey Rat. Yes, 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 yes. 
yes to everything because I'm lazy to lo to listen or to read. So yeah. Now we go to Fire and Shrine. Level up. Yeah, okay, it was a good decision to disable Nightbot. Because uh, my Ankh bot, or as I like to call it, for my bot, Orchid system, it really is complicated, first of all. I just probably named three different bot services. <laughs> For chat management, <laughs> Hank bot. Uh, first of all, I don't know if my bot is kind of a, you know, if it exists as Hank bot does. If it does, again, I probably named it. But if it doesn't, hold on. My point is, Hank bot does 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 the job well. He doesn't sell it until you send him to to the wall. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Well, yeah, goodbye. I'll see you again later. You know, logic dictates it's a curved sword. It's gonna require dexterity. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking about going assassin and using the... It's not the hush, or is it called hush? The sorcery that allows you to have to take no damage from falls. Can't remember. But the point is... I wanted to use assassin to use that sorcery to jump down and just skip this area, but then I thought about it and I was like, no, let, you know, let's, let's keep it, let's just go with the night class, because it is my go-to class, honestly, if I'm doing anything in the game, it's all, it's 90% is gonna be with the night class. Madam, please do not call me a bastard because we are no loyalty. I guess that makes sense then, you know, her calling me a bastard because we are not royalty and bastards usually are not royalty because they've been fathered or mothered by a, ba by a royalty but the parent was usually either someone of a lesser stature or it's out of wedlock. Yeah. <laughs> Still, even though we don't know who our parents are, we're not bastards. Please. We are not bastards. We are no bastards. 
beautiful, just beautiful. There we go. There we go. Now a hundred meter dash. Break the world record and live your life. Let me uh, check something while the elevator is going back up. So, I finally used the multi multi stream thing for Twitch. I'm really, I'm, you know, no matter how long I'm streaming or when I started streaming, which is kind of like two years ago, I still don't know that much about all the efficacies of it. But, you know, you gotta learn it sometimes. You gotta. Shut up. You're not interesting. <laughs> Why did you not restart? We have no use for you. We already did the run with Earfill straight sword. So by all means, he is useless to us. I mean, okay, like what was it? Thousand souls? Two thousand five hundred souls? You can argue that that's useful, and I'll accept that argument. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! 2,500 souls for possible death, no thank you. But by that logic, any amount of souls leads to can lead to possible death. So what's the point? The point is you should always do soul level 1 runs. That's the point. Just don't worry about the souls at all. I yeah, no. <laughs> no. No, I, I, I did them and I don't want to do it again. I mean, okay, that's kind of a lie. I would do it. The only boss I had trouble was fucking Osiris, because he tended to do these random dashes for no fucking reason or no tell. Just did an attack, turned around, immediate dash. And that dash will one-shot you. No matter how much armor you have, no matter anything, you will die. And then comes the question, what the fuck happened? Oh, serious happened, motherfuckers. Oh, serious happened. I think that was the only problem for, with my uh, soul level 1 run. Oh, serious and no one else. Just don't jump.
Did he power up? I don't know. But he did jump. Not cool, man. Not cool. There we go. Thank you for the assistance, Zigward, as always. There we go, Zigbrow. An extra Estus, just in case. You know, I must say that the sound of, you know, how did they get the whole bare feet touching the ground sound? I really have to wonder. Oh. Dude. Oh. Come on, really? What? What's the difference? Why did you get triggered then, but didn't get triggered before? What's the difference? Was it because I moved a little bit quicker? Actually, that might make a lot of sense. Because if you walk, the sound is muffled, or at least not consistent. So, you might think like, oh, it's nothing. But if you walk quicker, or run, then it's consistent. And I get it. I, I I get it. But still, come on, it's a video game. It ain't based in reality of things. <laughs> if it was, every stealth game would be a failure immediately, hundred percent. That's not me bashing on stealth games, because I have nothing against stealth games. I'm not a fan of them in the first place, but doesn't mean I have to hate them. But uh. It is uh, no matter actually not even stuff games, action games too, like Call of Duty, Battlefield, and all that. They make it so that if you you know if you kill someone from uh, a distance and with a silencer, the guard next to that person would not react at all. Like it will be like, ah, uh, who cares? <laughs> who who gives a fuck if my uh. My colleague li is lying dead next to me, probably nothing. <laughs> Although, I have to say, Wolfenstein, uh, the new Colossus, does it better, but a lot of players are irritated by it. Like, people in uh, Wolfenstein New Colossus, if you kill someone in silence and then someone notices the body, everyone is on high alert. Which, you know... People were not mad when uh, Hitman did something like that. And people understood, like, okay, it's the game is about assassination and being as stealthy as possible while doing your, you know, your job. I get that. But, you know, Wolfenstein is more of an action game, like Doom, than it is all about stealth. And then them doing something like that just kind of seems like it defeats the point. And I have to agree, it does, you know, like, okay, so here's the stealth option, but if you kill someone and then someone notices the body, it immediately basically goes down the water. That's stupid. And I have to agree, it is kind of, why? Why break, you know, why break the fun, basically? Why? why? No one's gonna do it if it's like that. Because why should you just fucking go guns blazing? It's more fun. Double... Double uh, Gatling shotguns. Yeah, Gatling shotguns. Very fun. <laughs> of course, I didn't play the game. I, I, I watched it. It doesn't matter if you watched the game, played the game, or read upon the game. Um, if you feel like something's off, you should say. Still, is it a good Wolfenstein? Yeah. So it's a great game. Great game. Although some people will argue that it's, you know, either preachy or shoving its political views down your throat. And do I have to say, uh, they're Nazis. <laughs> is it bad to hate Nazis? I'm sorry, Dan, but I hate Nazis. I do. 
So, what now? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of stupid. Like, really? 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 It's a bad political view to view to hate Nazis. Okay. No matter if you're left or right. Well, you're too right if you don't hate the Nazis. Then you're too right. Then it doesn't matter at this point. Okay. No. Salvage. If you are center to slightly right, like let's say conservative. Then you should hate the Nazis. Beyond that point, I get it. You you are basically in that camp yourself. Now, of course, many would say, and I would say too, fascism is not Nazism. Two completely different concepts of politics. So we should not have them together. But still. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop with politics. Although I myself am a very political person. DUDE! He is the only NPC that invades you if you're playing offline. Because he's a madman. Also, I don't have the fucking damage to deal with him. Damn it! Annoying piece of shit. No, no, no. You are forbidden. You are forbidden. Really? I hate man doesn't break his guard. Come on, do it. Yeah! Good boy! <laughs> he did it! Good job. That's a, that's a nice amount of souls. Too bad we're not actually gonna use them. Because we're gonna buy the... The key. The key? The key. The key to what? The best set in the game. To what else? I ask you. To what else? Now, when I was actually, you know, looking for the name of the sword, I didn't check if it's Twinkling Titanite or Normal Titanite. So maybe this, you know, sharp gem is actually a waste of, you know, is a wasteful get. But eh, who cares? There we go. Shop gem, thank you very much. I can use it on the long sword. I guess if that makes that that will make any difference. Spoiler alert, it won't. Wait. Why am I not going back to Filing Shrine and giving Grey Rat uh, the bone? Because I will go back either way to get the Moirat's ashes to, to the Shikan Maiden. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. There we go. He's dead. Kind of a difficult fight. When you're not leveled anything and your weapon is zero. But at the same time, at the same time, it's okay. I mean, the broadsword. I'm sorry, longsword. I appreciate you and I appreciate your existence in the game, but the broadsword is better. <laughs> Way better. No offense, of course. Just better. That was a long ass wind up attack, wasn't it? 
get the souls. They'll be used later. Should we go and open the shortcut? Should we go and fight? No, no. <laughs> no, no, we're not gonna go and fight the boss. Not yet. Not yet. Like I said, we're gonna go and um, press the bonfire. I'm going to check it. Okay, so I'm going to check and see if I can just save and quit to Oblivion, a.k.a. Save, quit, give the bone, save, quit, talk to him, save, quit, send him to, well, talk to him, send him to the high wall, save and quit, and hopefully he will be back. Also, one thing that some people might not, you know, I don't know if people are okay with Dark Souls 3 having the warp system from the beginning. I'm a big fan. I'm, I was glad that Dark Souls 2 did it. I am happy that Dark Souls 3 did it. And I hope Dark Souls 1 Remastered does it. Now I might be saying, then what's the point of the fight? First and foremost, you can still have the Lord Vessel. Because it's still important lore wise. But I hope they give us warp from the beginning. That will be a great, great thing. If they don't do it, eh, fair enough. They don't want to do it, fair enough. But it's just annoying then. Okay. Got another message in Discord. Just check it out. Okay. Why did I take a second to just check and see? Um, do I type continue? Do I choose continue or load the game? Not really sure. Come oh, on, there you are. Yep, Thank sure. You. Yeah, sure. Goodbye. Okay, let's check this. Because I never checked it before. I want to see. Will it actually work? My guess is no. I think you need to kill a boss fight or be in a certain area of the game for him to get back. But if this works, I'm an idiot for not checking this before. It didn't work. Okay, so it probably means we need to kill a boss or something like that. Which, mind you, completely fine. Pretty big Pretty be careful, I say. What am I gonna see you go hollow now, do we? No. No one wants to be hollow. No one. Let's go kill let's go kill Cursor right Grave. I want to warn you of someone. My body. Wielding my sword. Sword forged on to kill. Uh, 
Don't no no I I dare not think that I forgot the name Bengal. There we go. Fuck. Best NPC in fucking Dark Souls 2, hands down. Well, at least best sounding. The voice actor did a phenomenal job on Vanguard. Love his dialogue, love everything about Vanguard. Damn, such a good thing. It kind of shows, you know. Vanguard knew nothing but war, nothing but battle. But the moment he got severed. From his body and you know just stayed there in one place he learned not tranquility but peace I guess because what can you do when you are uh, you know just ahead you're there to contemplate things to think over your life choices and that's it ain't nothing left much for you There we go. There we go. Oh, hello there. You did hit me. That's a unpleasant surprise, I must say. But oh well, I can accept it. And I shall. Wait, what am I doing? Ah, fuck me. My bad, my bad. I, I went back to the old tactics instead of using the new ones. My bad, my bad, my bad. Basically, if you first break the egg on his uh, left leg, then you break the egg on his left arm, and then you go for the big arm. I mean, come on. My bad. There we go, let the blood splatter all over. Reminds me of Bloodborne. Reminds me of Bloodborne. I will not say it. I will not say it. I said it for a long time, I'll not say it again. But my link is not working. Okay, I have to check that after this fight. One more time, just one more time. Give me the good RNG, and I'll be happy. There we go. Thank you. There we go. And that's how you chop wood. <laughs> That was bad. No, that was just bad. But luckily for us, that was 20k. And now we can go buy the key. And again, <sighs> sorry for this, but I'm gonna, you know, quickly just change the...
timers, edit link. That should that should fix it. That should fix it. If it doesn't, then I have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> There we go. Pretty be careful. Pretty be careful, I say. I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> It's not a significant soul, by no means, but it's a soul. So, yeah. It deserves to be picked up. Also, if you're wondering what's the end goal when it comes to uh, stats, I'm guessing 40 decks would be a good, uh, good thing. I'm gonna go to 20 strength, because I always go when when it comes to you know the supportive stat. I always go for 20. So we are 20 decks when I go 40 strength or 20 strength when I go 40 decks. Just because I can uh, I can wield the shield of want, which is a very very important shield because it's the dragon lake shield. If you haven't noticed. Yes. Okay. For a second there, I got worried that I might die. It happens too often, and I'm not a fan of it. By no means. I'm no fan. Why have you not given us the Fire Keeper Crown? By the way, the Fire Keeper Crown, the Fire Keeper Crown is in the game files. You can find it, you just can't equip it. You, okay, you can find it in the game files, you can mod it in the game, I guess you know, modify the save and you will get the, the, you can get the crown like that. I think, I never tried it. And that's it, you can't get it in game, which is bullshit! Sorry, but I really want the fucking crown. It's so amazing. Oh yeah, let's see if uh, where at? Are you back, my old friend? Yes, he is. He is back. Oh, uh, where is it? Ten intelligence. Oh. Goodbye. Okay. Say so. So we're gonna have to go and uh, level up some strength and intelligence. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Because why would you need strength for for a curved sword? You can understand the dilemma of the problem. It makes no fucking sense or whatsoever. But. Oh well, I accept it. We have to. <laughs> I still don't understand why the long so why the long bow only has D scaling index. When in history the long bow is kinda the most powerful bow or was the most powerful bow in that time. It was. It had the capability of penetrating uh, plate armor, and it it uh, used the strength of the pull very effectively. So yeah, but you know there is some argument that the the composite bow might be better. I'm not gonna argue about that because I have no fucking idea. I'm no. 
I'm no expert at bows or anything else when it comes to archery, as I'm a sword sword guy myself, but I'm fascinated by it, honestly. Because if you have to choose, what will save your life more effectively? The bow. There's a high chance the enemy will never get close to you, and you will survive. That noise is creepy. We will kill the Black Knight. We will kill him because it is in our honor to kill him. Dude! There we go. There we go. Why can we not backstab? Damn it, game! You're supposed to be better than Bloodborne! But you only prove that you're not. Oh, well, okay, fair enough. The game was not supposed to prove that it's better than Bloodborne, but it is a later, you know, it is a newer game. So if you have assets from other games that you can use, why not use one of the best ones, which is, which is that you can backstab anyone. I'm not... Hold up, I'm not mixing it up, right? No, you know what? Good job, Black Knight, good job. Good job. I cannot be mad, that was, um, that was a good kill. That's how the Black Knight kills you, basically destroys your stamina. And if you don't backstab him, and chain backstab him, you will die. 70% of the time. So what now? Well, we go back, get the souls. You don't have to kill him. That's the good thing. But we might try, cause I I do tend to hold a grudge against NPCs who kill me. I do tend to. Even when it's my fault. Even when it's my fault. Because I'm sorry, game. But I know I made a mistake. You don't need to punish me. Oh, wait. That's not how it works. <laughs> Why did I... That stone there looks like it's a drop. Fooled me. Uh, let's go again. Oh! Perfect start, 10 out of 10 start. Fuck me. Okay, we got the first backstab. Second back. Okay, this is good. That's bad. Good. That's how you do it, basically. That's how you do it. And we got two S's back. Thank you. We need the Feron Coal for both reasons. The one is if we can't use the the rotten pine resin on our carvers. Carvers? Sorry. Pontiff curved sword. Then we have to use it on the dagger. AKA the poison gem. That's a requirement to kill to kill Gale. Okay, no, it's not a requirement, but fuck if I'm gonna spend 10 minutes fighting that bitch. <laughs> not gonna do it. And anyone who fights, who does this game out of love for the game, who does these challenges, 
just use poison. Do yourself a favor and just chuck that poison at them. Gale is gonna melt. Or use sorceries actually. Both work spectacularly well. So yeah, or sorceries. Doesn't matter if you're gonna go with pyromancies, powerful miracles. Not Wrath of the Gods, mind you. Wrath of the Gods is shit. But uh, Life Hunt Scythe is okay. In fact, in fact, Life Hunt Scythe might be my favorite miracle. Which is weird, because I'm not a fan of miracles. But damn, is the Life Hunt Scythe cool and powerful. If you're wondering how powerful, I did a run with the Life Hunt Scythe. And uh, against Nameless King, it did Wrath of the Gods damage. It did 600 damage against fucking Nameless King. At, at that point, that's just amazing. <laughs> now, of course, it's a dark miracle. It's a, it's, a, it's a hex. It's not. It's not a physical damage miracle. You know. Too bad, actually. Too bad it's not a physical miracle because that would be even more amazing. But it has to be the best looking miracle ever. Like it beats ref. It beats everything that previous. It just beats it. It's such a well designed miracle. Animation wise and particle wise, everything just, just looks amazing. Just amazing. Uh, there's that, there's that, good. There's that, there's that. Yes, we picked up the shield. Yes, we did. Uh, we gotta go pick up. Yeah, we did get anything good. You gotta check yourself. You know, you gotta calculate and see if you got everything or not. It's just how it goes. Oh, well, let's get this guy. Oh! Headshot. Nice. More creamy biscuits! More Thank you so Yeah, creamy biscuits. Thank you so much for a follow! <laughs> I really appreciate it. Welcome. Dude, uh, what's the problem? Did the code run out? What's the problem? Why did you stop? Sometimes you have to wonder, what the fuck is the AI thinking? No healing! At least not the miracles. Estus, I allow it. Miracles, fuck you! No. wondering why not just make him fall down the ladder um uh, I already started the fight and he's almost dead so this reminds me of PvP one guy is attacking and the other one is just rolling around rolling around no <laughs> no problems in the world just rolling around it's not like I'm gonna clip you or anything Oh wait, I will.
It's kind of smart and evil from the developers to create attacks that are designed to punish chain dodging. It's you know it's smart because you don't want the players to think that it's always wise to non-stop dodge. But at the same time, fuck you, man. We have no options. <laughs> ah, you can parry. No, no, not all of them. Couple of bosses, not all of them. Still. Pontiff Knight Curved Sword. There we go. Wait, what is the requirements of the... What, what, what's the scaling? D, D, and the D is blue for str... Dex. What to say? Oh, wait, wait! Oh, for fuck's sake! Requires 18 Dex, you idiot! It requires 18 Dex, not 18 Strength. Why did I think Strength is the first one? Oh, my mind is beautiful sometimes. I'm an idiot. Sometimes. Other times, I have my moments. It's Twinkies! Okay, that, that makes me feel good for upgrading the Bastard Sword. So, it uh, it's Twinkies. Hmm. Oh, Twinkies. Okay, let's go get the first Twinkie then. Wait, wrong path. The first Twinkie, if you don't know, is hidden behind the tower. The filing tower, if you want. Yeah, we go find more paths. There we go, there's the thingy. That's the first Twinkling Titanite you can get in the game. Real sneaky, I have to say. It was, you know, I, I didn't know about it until way, way late in my, uh, in my playthroughs of the game. Of course, you might be saying, it's only one Twinkie, ain't that special. When Twinkies are 13k, it's special. <laughs> 13 or 12k, I can't remember. They're special then. Trust me. Because if you don't have enough Twinkies, then, then you have to farm them or buy them. And uh, what comes quicker, Twinkies or Souls? Okay, uh, fair enough. Possible bad phrasing right there, but my point stands. You will, you will get, you will get Souls more, more quicker than than Twinkies. So I'll be honest. So yeah, that was a counter attack. Are you kidding me? I got a counterattack. If you don't know or you never experienced it, a counterattack is basically the moment you block it and then immediately attack. That way the, the opponent will get more damage or will dam be damaged more. Very effective. Also kind of rare to get. You might be saying, well, why not make you know, why not make uh... I don't even know what's the what's it's called. It's not called it's not called critical damage. What's it's called? Counter damage, right. I think it's called counter damage. I'm I might be completely fucking wrong. And if I am, I'm sorry. Again, just shows a testament of how much I actually use that mechanic of the game. 
But my point is, let's just call it counter it, counter damage. If you, you know, if there was a much more reliable way of using counter damage, they might be saying, well, yeah, there is. Just be be better at the game, be more precise, and you will get counter damage way more than uh, than anyone else. True. True. I admit that. That's actually a pretty, pretty good point. But... Why not just make it so if you repose someone and instead of doing a visceral attack, you just continuously attack them, doing critical damage or doing counter damage because they are, you know, parry and they're vulnerable. Kinda makes sense, doesn't it? I hope it does. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh shit, it didn't hit me. Weird. Index. Very funny game. Very fun. Well, I mean, honestly, we do need two levels. One is to get to 10 intelligence, and one is to get to 18 decks. And then we can use the weapon. Both weapons. Really? Ah, uh, greed. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Or I guess perception would also be uh, attributed to it. There we go. The ferris head is useless. It just is. I just wanted to go. I just did for the souls. Oh, they, they, they all hit? Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that. Please. More. That is rare. I have to admit, that is completely rare for you to get the, the stagger and then to be able to, to visceral attack them. Very rare. Because usually you don't deal that much uh, poise damage to them. Remind me again, game, why do we not have poise but the enemies do? Why? I thought this game is supposed to be like whatever you can do, so can the enemy, and whatever the enemy can do, so can you. So tell me, the fuck happened to poise? I'm sorry. I'm gonna be. If they remove poise in Dark Souls One, I, I, uh, I might not. I don't, I don't I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen then. I'm not I don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna we're gonna see what happens. But if the motherfuckers remove poise. Then that's some serious shit. Some very serious shit.
Hi, thanks for the damage. I really appreciate it. I truly do. Fucking snails. Now mind you, I love snails. I do. I just don't like those. I'm not a fan. Thank you. We need them. Hmm. Out of coffee. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm gonna go get some, uh... Either some tea or some juice. I don't know which one is better. Some people might say the tea, of course. Some people might say the juice. I like both. That's why I'm. Uh, that's why I can't decide. Well, let's level up our one dex and one intelligence while we're at it. I like that. I like that. Oh, it's immediately. Oh, it's immediately C. I respect that. I respect that. Let's go kill the. demon for 5k I think 5k This kind of has an unnatural curve. I don't know. I never. I, I was never a big fan of curved swords. Now, mind you, I don't consider katanas curved swords. Some people do. I don't. I kind of put katanas in their own uh, category. There is no dodging that attack. It's either one-shotting you or completely desolating you of damage, of HP, so... Desolating you, yes, it's a new word. Look it up. It's very fast, though. I must say, it's a very fast weapon. How fast? DUDE! Okay! I kinda wish that was one of the, you know... There was a katana that moved that fast. That's very fast. Okay. I like it. I like it. That, that. So, okay, so uh, did he gain 
iframes or did my attack not connect? Because the attack went off. <laughs> that was weird. Oh well. Let's try again. It was just basically a full on a gamble if I was gonna survive or not. Who cares? But the weapon, the weapon attacks fast, I must admit, I'm very impressed. Don't do the boulder attack, please. For the love that's all good and evil, don't do the attack. Thank you. I might need a little bit more endurance for this weapon. Just because it makes me want to do as much attacks as possible. Also makes me want to cut off his legs. There we go. There we go. We cut off his legs. This game can be so dark sometimes. <laughs> uh, we still want the, the large titan shards for the dagger. Let me upgrade him. And for the black bow. And Sure, even though the, I don't use the black bow anymore, it's just like a fucking trigger mechanism, honestly. To trigger Argo, and that's about it. Agro. Ar Argo? Argo, yeah, Argo. What the fuck is Argo? I. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, to trigger aggression, basically. That's about it. Got it! But it was close. It's close. Where can I get another Titan Shard? Large Titan Shard. Oh, no, fuck that. No, no, sorry. Uh, Twinkies. Where can I get Twinkies? Uh, there's one. No, wait, no. There's two in. in. Um, Cathedral of the Deep, or at least that area. There's no more here. That's kind of too bad. I need more. I desire. Wait, there is no scaling for there is no scaling for intelligence. It just requires ten for the for the weapon art, I guess. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. I accept that. I accept that.
no, no, good, good, good. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, wait, did I get to run to right bonfire? Luckily, yes. The damage is okay, considering the fact it's a plus one weapon. Wait, are they a little bit of a snow particles? Yeah. When the weapon attacks, that's interesting. Good. <laughs> Don't fall off. That's the last thing I need is <laughs> for me to fall off because of an animation. Although, if you think about it, maybe you can do something like that. Maybe. But right now, let's go kill ourselves some uh, abyss watchers. There we go. Oh. I haven't checked the critical modifier of this weapon. Does it even matter? I don't know. DUDE! The fucking lag. I hate you so much, lag. Okay. Fair enough. Let them fight. Also, I do no damage. I do A damage. That's not good. <laughs>
89 damage. I believe that. That's shit. Please. I mean, okay, that was done. There we go. And bar restored. <laughs> it's good, okay, I mean, sure, the ever is restored. I really have no use for the Ember Baron. She is useless to me. In every way, shape, or form. It is useless. Ah, oh, time to sell everything. Wait. No, wait. What? We need. Fine. Let's go. Give the, the transposing kiln. This motherfucker. I was right, there is nothing we need. Let's go sell everything. For more souls. Ashen one. Ashen one? Bring me ash. There we go. We will no longer increase our strength stat until it proves to be detrimental to our success. Now we're gonna go and kill Crystal, Crystal Sages. Why Crystal Sages? Well, because I kinda wanna go immediately from Volnir to, to Irithyll. I don't have to go to Volnir, then go to a Demon King, then I have to go all the way back, you know. I'm kind of trying to make it more streamlined. Plus, after Crystal Sages, we get to two uh, Twinkling Titanites, and that's always good. Well, now it's good. Usually, it's not. Good. But now, right now, in our situation, it's very good. And after I kill the Crystal Sages, I'm gonna go and make myself some tea or get some juice. Still, still have not decided if I want juice or tea. Although. Although, T is slowly winning the fight. Slowly. Hi, bitch. Nice seeing you again. Have you missed me? I certainly have you. It only a hundred. 
disappoint. Oh, what? Well, we skipped the, the second phase. We're going directly into the third. Life is beautiful. Good. No! Oh, fuck my life. Those crystal balls are the most thing ever. Monster. What the fuck was that? I don't know, but he's dead. Why does the sound all of a sudden just quit out like that? I really don't understand. Anyways, I'll be right back.
I'm back and the tea has won. <laughs> the tea has won. But unfortunately, it's right now too hot to drink, so we're going to take our sweet time. Good. There are two Twinkling Titanites. Two more are gonna be where the Crystal Demon is in uh, in the Cathedral of the Deep. Or Cleansing Chapel if you want. Depending on what bonfire you're, you're talking about. Both are actually accurate. So yeah. Hi! I need more endurance. I do need more endurance. Because this weapon truly does make you go faster. Attack more. Attack more. Well, not go faster, but attack more. Because it does attack so fast. Just amazing weapon, honestly. Amazing weapon. You might be saying, why not attack the dogs and the archers? They will give you souls. Yeah, but I don't want to. <laughs> I really don't want to. Oh, one shot. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I, uh... Yeah. I like that. Very, very, very much so. Very much so. I like that. By the way, that's the biggest bullshit ever. That long of a drop and he doesn't even doesn't even die. <laughs> we would have died. Hands down, we would have died if we attempted that. But here nah. Nah. It uh it has a special It has nothing but rags on itself, so what the I don't know man, I don't know. I guess agility helps out. Maybe I don't know. 
But there's a third Twinkling Titanite, and the fourth one is gonna be uh, behind the wall. Or actually around the corner of this wall. Be more precise. But yeah. There we go. <laughs> that was, um, I'm not gonna say close, because it wasn't close, but it was worrying that the, the warm creatures would get triggered and then we'll have to deal with one of them. And I really, really don't want to deal with them. There we go. 20, 23k, huh? It would be a shame to lose it. Oh, one of them is triggered. Shit, move, 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 move. I don't want to deal with that shit. Good, we got everything. So four tingling titanites. Uh, let me let me quickly check. It goes one, two, two, six, eight. Right? Or is it one, two, four, six? Hmm. I can't I can't remember. Can't remember. Good, good. They have committed suicide and we can move on. Hey, it was their decision. <laughs> I respect their decision to plunge fiery daggers into their chest and burst in flames. So, yeah. How are we gonna kill the giants? I... Sure? Um, why not? Let's let's kill the giant. But first and foremost, let's go unlock the shortcut and increase the sword, or strengthen the sword, whatever you want to call it. Then we're gonna go and kill the giant, and of course increase and strengthen the Estus flask. Goes one, two, four, six, eight. Okay. You be careful, okay. Great Lazarus, a 
Tasche. Dude, there we go. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Champion of Ash. I'm not champion. I don't know what we are. I mean, again, we are Ashen. I'm one thing we are certainly not, and that is undead we're not undead hold up okay merciful god don't worry about your merciful goddess we're gonna deal with that later wait merciful are you praying to to oh, what's her name? The one uh, that, that is the leader of the Finger Covenant. Rosaria, are you praying to Rosaria? She is no. I'm um, okay. Okay. It's been established by this point that the term gods in this game probably doesn't mean what we think it means primarily because Gwyn is a god yet we kill him a nameless king is a god yet we kill him Aldrich devoured the gods even though Aldrich is uh, was human at one point so yeah to us they might be gods but they are just human also just they're just gigantic in size. That's about it. That's why, you know. But to be honest, what would you call something that has power beyond your imagination? When godhood in itself is imagination. In fact, you can argue that everyone is a god of their own mind. Because in your mind, anything is possible. You are capable of creating new worlds, new stories, new everything. And evidence of that are books. You know, fantasy books. It might be fantasies, but they are created by someone's mind. My point is, uh, I don't know. I'm, you can say they're gods, but in my opinion, they're just humans that are gigantic because of their power and the strength of their soul. That's about it. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing more, nothing less. Also, I got a message. Let me just check out the messages. Two messages. Wow, I skipped. Fucking. Uh, why does? Okay, okay. This is something I have. Why does Twitter send? Uh, these newsletters why I, I don't give a fuck about CNN I don't give a fuck about ABC I don't give a fuck about the first of all I'm not even in America so what the fuck do I care about American television now you might be saying oh, well CNN is worldwide is it not yes it is my point still stands I don't give a fuck the point is still there However you, look at, however you look at it, I don't give a, you know, I don't care. The point is there. Stop sending me fucking tweets about CNN, tweeting about whatever. It's not entertaining, and I don't give a fuck about it. But, Twitter still does it because probably paid by CNN. Or has some kind of dealership there. Not controversy or anything like that, not like conspiracy theory, I'm just like wondering how does, you know, why does CNN, when CNN tweets something, it becomes immediately a message to my phone, even though I'm not following CNN in any way, shape or form, or any American news, TV, news channel, just why?
Well, we got everything we can get. Let's, um... Let's do this. Arguably, this will be easy. Yes. This will be easy. God, I love the Force, am I right? These guys are the ultimate Star Wars fans. Ultimate. Hands down. They just spam Force. There we go. I'm not amused. <laughs> 